the driverpreneur drive get paid hey good morning youtube good morning everybody out there and you're welcome to the driverpreneur channel and in today's video we are going to be talking about money 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 like i'm going to be discussing and you know reacting to questions i get frequently on my channel you know from some commenters and some of my viewers I know I get it by email, I get it by direct YouTube comment. As you can see, some of these questions come and I see a lot of passion in this question. Like some people are like even angry. Maybe they've done the business in the past and they never broke even. And they're like, how come you're always talking about Uber? How come you're always talking and this happy and you're talking about you making money? You know, if you're expecting me to show you my bank statements in this video, please have a rating. I ain't gonna do that. <laughs> So in this video, I'll be basically talking about, you know, my earnings and like how much, giving you an idea of how much I really make just driving alone for Uber. So I'll be sharing with you guys, you know, screenshots on how I do my own calculation. I know in, you know, it's a big problem in Africa, it's a big problem in Nigeria. Like when it comes to money matters, we are not really grounded when it comes to money and finance. Like that's why we have a lot of poverty out there. Like and you know, it's just something about the educational system. They never really taught us about money. So it's something that a skill that we all need to learn by ourselves. Even me myself, I'm still trying to master the skill of money management. And I hope to get to the top. And I hope you guys follow me on this journey of personal improvement, you know, money improvement, money management. So if this is your first time coming across my channel. This is the driverpreneur. I share content relating to ride share, ride share in terms of Uber, like renting, using your rides to make money. And I'll also share topics relating to affiliate marketing, digital marketing, and the likes. You know, just join me on this journey. So if you're a rider out there or you're a driver, so you need to subscribe to these channels so we can go to this journey together. So we can go through this journey together. So, please kindly hit on that subscribe button and turn on bell notification so you get new videos every time I post them. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you very much for subscribing. I really appreciate I really feel encouraged. And that is what, like, what is keeping me going to make content like this. Because I know people out there are like getting value from what I put up on the internet. So, let's get straight into the, to this video. Like I said before, I'm not going to show you my bank statement. I'm just going to give you a rough idea of what I make driving alone for Uber. So, like I said earlier, if you can see, there are some questions I've gotten in the past. Like, you know, this, are you just doing advert for Uber? Or, I don't know, like, are you making money at all? Somebody talked about me sharing um, my earnings and about what I spent on maintenance, on ticketing and all. Well, I don't really understand what he meant by tickets. If you mean by ticket, this is not Yankee where they give you ticket, ticket, ticket. In Nigeria here, if you, if, you, if, you, if you are in trouble with any of the officials, we know how we settle it. Anyways, so let's go straight into today's video. As you all know, I use a Mercedes Benz C Class. Like, you know, sometimes I pull over to pull pass to pick up passenger. I'll be like, are you sure is you are my Uber driver? You know, and I've often had times where I go pull up, as in I go pick up some passenger, and they have to cancel. They be like, no, I can't drive in a Mercedes Benz. And I'm like, I don't know, maybe a ritualist. I don't know how ritualists connect to using a Mercedes Benz. So I beg, egg by you. So, I use a Mercedes Benz C Class, and you know everybody has the opinion and the the, the thoughts that Mercedes Benz C Class is very high on fuel consumption. Yes, maybe a little, but it is not very, 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 very significant. Maybe if an average four cylinder Toyota Corolla user is using like three thousand naira fuel, maybe I'll be using like two thousand five hundred naira fuel, or maybe two thousand. So the difference is not that much. So and maintenance i this vehicle in terms of maintenance the, the like my shock absorber i've been using this vehicle now for over a year and i've not changed any of my shock okay i changed one of my rear shocks i think on this side and i think that shock was five thousand naira. and why i why i get my parts very cheap is that man i walk the streets i go to the market myself i go to trinity i go to ladipo i go to mushi i go to clegg i go to alaguton i go to what's it called ilezik I walk those streets so I know what my parts cost. So if you want to save extra and not being scammed by most of the mechanic, you need to walk the streets. You need to go to this market, know where your parts, know your know where your vehicle parts are being sold. You know, go for yourself, know what these parts cost. That's one way to you know minimize your expense on maintenance. So I'll share with you a 
a, a my earning reports i have an earning report where i use the wps um um file manager you know where you can create excel sheets where you can create powerpoints and all the likes factors that can affect your your earning in relation to your to fuel consumption you know factors like i do driving like sometimes you just want to drive from point a to point b without a passenger or you want to drive home without any passenger so that can also impact on your fuel consumption as relates to your earning so if you notice from the the, the screenshot i will share on this video you notice that the, there's no consistency in my earning in some earning i can earn above like around 100,000 naira with um what you calculate the fuel against when i earn like 50k so you notice the difference is not much so and also like surge like um like if there's promotion going on so the earnings cannot be typical you cannot expect to okay i made i made so amount this week with 50 with 10 000 well next week i'll make the same amount with them no it doesn't work that way so i just i just i just needed to enlighten you on this that's why i had to come back to make this this short clip okay so um this is a summary of what my my earning report looks like so if you see you have income you have four you have feeding which i'm going to take out because i was not really detailed in this particular week this particular week of um study in my earning and my maintenance so i'll take it out let's just do four against income so uh, as you can see week one i did a hundred thousand and eight hundred thousand and eight hundred and one hundred thousand eight hundred and seventy eight naira so if you calculate the total you can actually sum in the, using this app so if you sum it i have sixteen thousand five hundred total for all that was a very peak period there was a lot of promotion going on that particular week so that was why the the earning was that high the second week i used about nineteen thousand two hundred i had a lot of i do drive time i went to had to go see my folks in their house so that impacted in my high fuel consumption the third week i used eight thousand five hundred naira for i did fifty thousand six hundred and fifty six naira so uh, you just have you just need to sum up the total you for you used for the three weeks so you can just write it down and then sum it up you get the total it's very easy to use the wps it's very easy if you play around it you see it's not difficult so that three weeks i used 44,200 as well so i also will put my the uber earning the weekly uber earning by its side so i can get the total and know what exactly i got for that three weeks so 100,878 naira Plus fifty five thousand five hundred and six naira plus fifty thousand six hundred and sixty six hundred and fifty six naira. So when you sum it, I had two hundred and seven two hundred and seven thousand forty naira minus forty four thousand two hundred, which is the money for my fuel expenses. So so if you minus the total earning you made for the three weeks from the fuel consumption that's the the total amount you spent on purchasing fuel you subtract that amount from what you made for those three weeks i had 162,840 naira so that will be your profits after fueling you know, so you also need to consider what you spent on feeding and you know what you spent on maintenance like in this particular weeks i think i topped up my axle oil so i think i topped it up with six thousand so that's also part of your expenses you take it out you know so that you know exactly what your earning is for that week for those number so if you can see right here this is a three weeks breakdown you know i had a, i had previous weeks in the past where i recorded my earnings versus my expenses so basically uber has already done the calculation for you uber has already removed the 25 percent and by the way if you drive 20 trips on uber in a week your percentage deduction reduced to three percent as against the 25 percent you pay so 
if you finish 20 trips, you drop to 3%, which is very fantastic. So, if you can try, most people finish their 20 trips in two days. Sometimes, depending on how you walk, depending on your body, depending on what you want to do, depending on how you feel energized to walk. So, but sometimes I finish my 20 trips in two days. Sometimes I finish in three days. It depends. Sometimes I don't even finish in four days. Sometimes I don't decide to walk maybe very half day or quarter day, go home, relax. So, it depends on how you walk to hit that target. So, as you can see, this is the breakdown. This is just basically it. Like, Uber has already removed the deduction. So, I, I know what I've earned in this week. I know what I've earned in this week. I, what I just need to do is to put to write all the fuel expenses. Like, if you can see now, like this, this right here, I have what I've spent on fuel in this particular week. In the next week, in the next week. So, I just use it and basically calculate what I what I earn versus what I spend on four. Then, if you want to know what exactly you earn, you need to also consider what you eat. You need to consider snacks. You need to consider everything that goes into your business is part of expenses. You know, like sometimes I buy oil. Like if my vehicle tells me I'm down on oil, I buy oil to top up. You know, I take out money for maintenance and put that one aside in another separate bank account so that I don't, you know... Like when my vehicle is due for service, I uh, don't give excuses because that's one, one one major way people damage their vehicle. They drive their car year in, year out without maintaining it, without changing the oil, or they go cheap on oil. So I always keep my money aside for maintenance. You know, so I know the demand can be very, very high, like family demand and all, but you need to know this vehicle is strong for you. So you need to set aside money to maintain it. So that is just it. If you want to, WPS is, is not is not hard to get. You can get it from um, your Play Store or your iStore. WPS, like you can use it to do Excel sheet. It's not hard. It's not difficult. Just click on new file. Then you click on Excel. You separate the sheets. It's already the sheet is already prepared for you. So you can play around it. You see some functions like okay, how you can like do a, a summation. You can do you know divide. You can do all sort of things. If you are not used to Excel. You can check online for tutorials on how to use Excel sheet. It's not difficult. You know, the basic things like this are not difficult. So, like, if you're a driver, please, I advise you eat a lot. Eat. Like me, I eat. I spend a lot of money on feeding. Like, I can go to a restaurant and eat full goat head. I can go to a restaurant and eat full catfish. I can go to a restaurant or a bar and eat. I, I actually quit alcohol, so I don't take alcohol no more. So, I basically just do fish or meat, you know, those kind of things and take a lot of water. So, yes, I'm above 30, so <laughs> I want to reduce those things that will you know, shorten my lifespan. So, I've taken alcohol out of it, out of the equation. Alcohol, no more. Alcohol. Alcohol is a no-no for me. So, um, sometimes I go to a restaurant, I, I a bar, I order for coca fish, like coca, big one, and chow the thing, like roasted one with you know, tomato sauce and eat it, man. It's for your body. Eat it for your body. If you die, you die for nothing, you know. So enjoy this money while you ah, you suffer for it now make enjoy it put it in your body too so like on food i go very very well on food so like i said before in my previous videos you cannot depend on just driving alone to make money like there are other ways i make money on from driving i you know i have a side hustle i sell cars i'm an affiliate with um cars 45 so i sell cars and i also buy i buy like i sell cars for people that want to sell their cars not like I have the cars physically. I also refer buyers for different cars. So sometimes when I have my riders in my car, when I go through my profile, they see that, oh, you sell cars, really? Okay, so I've been thinking of buying a car and I refer them and get my commission. So you too can add side hustle if you're a tailor, if you have passion for tailoring, if you have passion for photography, you can add all this side hustle. It's not a lot depending on just driving so that you can make extra income. So yes, driving is profitable for me. Because it makes me to meet new people, makes me to expand my client's base, you know. And I also make money driving. And one funny thing about the vehicle is that even if you park your vehicle at home without driving it, it's still going to develop a, develop a fault. That's one funny and strange, mysterious thing I don't understand. You know, you're going to pay, um, you're going to pay um, your insurance, you're going to renew your papers. So why not use your car to make some extra income instead of just leaving it, you know, idle at home. And while you make the car, also remember to put your side hustle. That's why I said having an Uber account, having an Uber driver account is very necessary. If you have the car, why not? Sometimes you can be bored. You just want to take a stroll. 
you turn on your app, it takes you to different parts of Lagos, you see different new, new parts of Lagos. You know, you make money and have fun at the same time. Yes, and that brings me, if you want to be an Uber driver, I'll always leave the link to join Uber on my videos. Just check the description. Mostly, it's always the first link. But if it's not the first link, just scroll through, you will see it clearly labeled. Become an Uber driver and click on that link. Register with your email and go through the whole step of verification. If you're not sure of the car to use, if you're not sure if your car qualify, I also left a video that can show you the requirements, car requirements, Uber car requirements to make you start hitting the road with your car and earning with your car. So for ticketing, like somebody asked me, well, yes, right now the VIO, the road safety and everybody's out, out there to like get people. I don't know why they're always targeting Uber drivers. Like they're asking for acne permits, which is very, very strange. They're asking for last three, may be understandable because Uber drivers are like commercial drivers. So, yes, you should have the last three. This is the Lagos State way of you know generating revenue from the transport sector. But for me, I drive a Mercedes, I, people basically don't stop me. Like, even like when I pass, they just they, they let me pass, they don't even suspect I'm, I drive Uber. So, maybe that's one of the advantages of driving a Mercedes. So um, I hope this video you get you drive value from this video. You can give this video a thumbs up. If there are other things you want me to still discuss, you're not you're not happy with the way I analyze my earning, you can also comment on the comment section and tell me to okay clarify further. I would be very glad to answer your questions. So if you had any value from this video, give it a thumbs up, share to other driver platforms on WhatsApp, on any other platform you know of. You know, also you can leave a comment, like I said, below asking me any question of your choice any question at all there's no question that is dumb there's no question that is stupid so ask me question on the comment section i'll be so glad to answer your question so i hope you guys had a good time and had fun watching this video so it's from the driver to all you guys i'm saying peace